In today's video, we are installing brand new MR JDM headlights on the JDM Evo 8. So let's go ahead and get right into it and unbox the headlights. We got JDM headlights. I promise you guys, this is one of these things that I'm super, super excited about. I always say this, but headlights make or break a car. And when headlights look this freaking good, I think honestly, CT9A chassis has one of the best headlights. Like at least these, the Black House and JDM headlights are one of the best looking headlights. I love everything about this freaking headlight. Anyways, so as I told you guys in the previous video, we sold our JDM headlights, the chrome housing headlights. And you guys obviously knew that meant that we were getting brand new. These are directly from the dealer, Mitsubishi, brand new black housing MR headlights. This car is getting closer and closer. And it's crazy to think that we got this car in January. It's only May. And I feel like exterior wise and even the interior, we're getting the car back to the OEM stage. And before you guys tell me anything, I don't wanna get any more comments. I don't wanna get any more messages. The wing is going to be installed soon. I don't wanna show you guys much because the wing was restored and it came out insane. The only thing I'm waiting for is the gasket, the OEM gasket from the dealer is in back order. So once I get this gasket for this part, that wing is gonna go back on the car. So you guys are killing me with that. And the side skirts I already have over here, which are also going to be installed. This one's gonna be a little bit of the pain in the ass. You guys will see it on the side skirts video. But let's go back into today's video, which is the headlights. Real quick, before we do go ahead and install them, you have to remove your ballast. You do have to remove a couple of things. I did a video on how to install JDM headlights, like a detailed, detailed video. I'll put it up here on the right side of how to install these on a US car. In this case, we're installing JDM headlights on a JDM car, so it makes life easier when it comes to the fog light that we're going to be installing. But besides that, this is literally plug and play. The only thing I did wanna walk you guys through is how to remove your bumper. You're gonna have a couple of taps because you do have to remove your bumper. The headlight does have a bolt that goes right here on the side, and that bolt goes behind the bumper itself right here. So you will have to remove your bumper. On the GG that's outside right now, I have a quick bumper release. So removing this bumper takes me five seconds. With this bumper, there are a couple of bolts. You're gonna have this one here. You're obviously gonna have your two front ones that go here and here. And this bumper, at least JDM, Australia, maybe UK if you guys are from over there. Uh, in, the U in the US, we're required to run a crash beam and that crash beam goes there. In Japan, you're not required to run that. So this, in my case here, I had two bolts that were here and on the other side, you guys might have that. And then same thing here, bolt here, bolt here. And there are a couple of bolts or clips that get attached to the fender well, like this part right here, which you guys can see the little holes right here. So very simple to remove the bumper. Don't be scared to do that. I promise you guys it is super, super simple. It might seem like a lot, but trust me, it's not. So let's get right into it. All I'm going to do is install everything that's here onto the JDM headlight. Again, I'm not gonna record everything on detail because I already did that. Go ahead and watch that one video of how to install JDM headlights because I went very, very much on detail, but let's go ahead and get these beauties on this freaking amazing stock Evo, which I'm so excited about.
headlights are completely prepared and ready to be installed. I am going to link every single bulb that I bought because I bought almost every bulb brand new except the main one which is very expensive. Um, let me give you guys a quick walkthrough on how to set up your headlight even though like I said there is a very detailed video. All I had to transfer was my ballast which is underneath. Three bolts connected to the ground, little, uh, little clip right here. The new headlights do come in with the brand new harness itself, which is a great thing. Uh, install the cover, you do have to keep this cover. Brand new bulb here, brand new bulb here. And I did get the Nokia 2500, the, fog, the, the berry yellow uh, bulb for the fog light. I did get it, but it hasn't came in. So, so far I'm gonna use what the old headlights have. But I'm going to link all the bulbs and everything you need in the description so you guys can buy it. Uh, usually I link it with Amazon. It gets to my house in one day if you guys have Amazon Prime. So that works for me. But let's go ahead and install these beauties on the car. I'm not sure if I should move the car or not. I'll decide that right now, but I sh should have enough space to record and install them. So I took the car out, put it dead center so I could go ahead and clean a little bit. I know I'm always kind of OCD with things like this, but look at how dirty that is. So I'm gonna go ahead and give all of this a quick wash. And then after we give it a quick wash, we'll actually go ahead and install the headlights. installing the headlights and it looks I'm just speechless take a look at this It's just getting to the point where everything is kind of like super surreal to me but it looks so good uh i don't even know where to start like i think i just think headlights change the way a car looks completely and i mean it when i say that like if you have faded headlights the value of your car just instantly goes up right away as soon as you like just look at the difference compared to the other headlights even though we did restore them and the car looked super good and super new it's just something about the black housing jdm headlights at least to me it looks good in any car like i mean again not in any car in evos of course like look at the way the gg looks and what i like the most is the fact that it matches with the outside headlight which is black and amber so i just feel like the whole car flows together the way it should like everything flow oh, man. i'm sorry i'm just i've been staring at the headlights i'm not even kidding for probably more than 25 minutes just looking at every single angle and i just love how everything on this body is so straight like I removed the bumper and everything, every single bumper panel, hood, like everything is untouched. It's, I wish you guys could see this in person. I don't even know how to explain it, but here we are, JDM headlights on. Next up, hopefully we have the side skirts to install and then the wing, which I don't wanna show so much of on the car and this car, believe it or not, this freaking car is gonna be completely stock. Like it's gonna be the perfect stock car, unmolested, the whole engine bay. Man, it's just the fact that we've done this in such a short amount of time 
blows my mind anyways let me turn them on so you guys can see how it looks honestly came out super good i checked them out just to make sure that they were turning on this is the way the headlights look on which again the camera shows it kind of blue but it's not blue trust me it's like the 5k like it's like a white there it goes i guess it takes a little bit of time to warm up 5k wide which looks amazing and then now for the fog lights i wasn't going to show it to you guys because i haven't gotten the yellow nokia fog lights but just to show you guys that it works everything works i already checked it these are the fog lights these are going to be like that yellow yellow for like the ones i have on the gg evo this whole car is just going to be so perfect i'm so excited quick little tip for you guys that are wanting to have this yellow tint to this metal fog light once i get the nokia fog light this third fog light 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 bulb or whatever you want to call it is going to be yellow this one is like that light bluish that all evos have which to me looks amazing anyways i'm done admiring the headlights i'm done admiring this I've, i i don't even know i'm i'm speechless with the way this car is coming out and i am so grateful that i'm able to build the evil to this point and i know it's nowhere near like this is just a stock car like most people i drive it around they're like oh it's just a stock evil or whatever but to me it's just such a special freaking car man i still can't believe this Let's go ahead and end the video there. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I hope this video was informative. If you guys liked it, please don't forget to drop a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. We have so much more to do to this car. We're only scratching the surface, but we're getting somewhere. Uh, we're getting somewhere and I'm super excited. I keep saying that, but it's just like, it blows my mind every single time I do something to the car. I, it, 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 I don't know, it just takes me to the place where like I started and it's just crazy the fact that I'm able to do so much of this so quick. Like before I was more of restoring everything I could because you know I couldn't afford parts and things like that. And now I'm able to restore this car and put new parts in in such a, for me, what I consider for me, I know that there's people that rebuild cars in like a month, which is crazy. But for me, I'm, I feel like I'm going so quick. That's again, my opinion. I wanna end this week's video on this note. Last week I mentioned about finding your passion and following what you're passionate about. And Jamie from the UK sent me an email and I hope I'm not getting that wrong. And he asked me, how do I always stay motivated? And that to me was a question that I was like, I need to answer this in one of the videos and I'm not always motivated. There's days that I don't wanna do anything. There's days where I don't wanna install parts on the Evo. There's days where I don't feel like coming into the garage and working on the car. We all have those days. Even though this is my main passion, there's days where I don't feel like editing. But I wanted to tell you guys something. The days that you guys push, the days that I push through when I don't want to do something, those are the days that help me grow and those are the days that advance me and get me a step closer to my goal. So I just wanted to say, when you don't feel like doing something, that's when you need to push and do it because other people don't feel like doing it and that's where you can advance yourself and move forward. I don't know if that makes sense, but when you don't feel like doing something, do it and you're gonna start building this muscle of like no you're being a bitch you need to get your head together and just grind and do it and that's when it's gonna push you forward but i just wanted to come in here and say i'm not always motivated not every single day but i try to be obviously keep that in mind like what you guys are seeing are highlights of people's lives on instagram facebook youtube and all of that there's days where i'm down there's days where i don't feel like working but i still push through and that's what's gonna separate you at the end of the day just wanted to say that and I wanted to end it with one quote that changed the way I see things these past three weeks and I'm gonna put it up here on the screen. How you do anything is how you do everything. Let that sink in. Like always, stay safe, keep grinding. I'll see you guys on the next one.